Hey guys, it's Ben now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we went through the cycling road and stuff happened. And this part, we're going to... Uh, not going to Bill's PC, we're going to go on Ben now's PC. That's what we're doing. We're going to drop off some items. We're not going to need the Pokey Flute. We're not going to need the Ambers, but I'm going to have to hold on to them anyway. I'll get rid of the Nugget. PP up. Max Elixir. And I think it's gonna tell me that's it. Oh, I can put the revive in there. Okay. And. No. no. Still can pull one more. Okay, I'll put the. Nope, now I can't. Oh, so I can fit the friggin' full so but not the old amber. Okay, sure. Whatever. You wanna make sure you've got a, quite a bit of room because we're gonna be going to places. It's the Safari Zone Warden's home. So if we go in here, there's a bunch of people. This guy's like. Hello, Yes. What? Anyway, apparently this guy is missing his teeth. He lost his dentures somewhere. And you just agreed on helping him. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. He simply loves fishing. Uh, by the way... This is where you get the good rod. I was wondering whether I had gotten the super rod already. Uh, sorry, the good rod already when I got the super rod, but apparently that's the good rod. So, there's your good rod. Um, so, yeah. Um, other than that, there's not really any buildings to go into. As far as I know, a zoo in front of it. Out the back is a safari game. So, technically, this is a safari. I, I need cotton, don't I? Wait, this guy's all like, Where's Sarah? I didn't meet her here. This is Slowpoke. He's friendly and slow moving. By the way, if you haven't seen some of the Pokemon in the game, this is actually where you get to see them. It's Chansey. Because I think all of these Pokemon don't appear as trainers. Well, well maybe not all of them, because I'm pretty sure we've seen a lot of them before. This guy is all in trance. And, uh, it's just like, yep. Really, Pokemon. And this guy's all like, you try the Safari game? Some Pokemon can only be caught there. Okay. This one is Lapras, the king of the seas. Lapras is really good, trust me. Until you play X and Y, in which case, yeah, it's just like, yeah, I get it. Did you try X speeds? Speeds up Pokemon in battle. Yeah, X items basically up uh, your Pokemon by a stat mid battle. Kind of like using like Sword Stance or something. You can, look at, you can also get Ultra Balls, however, if you're going into the Safari Zone, don't bother buying balls. Because the Safari Zone, they give you balls. By the way, here's something. If you never caught Kabuto, oh sorry, sorry, depending on what fossil you chose, this could, uh, these two Pokemon, I think. Or, uh, not, not this one, but. You'll see Kabuto there. However, if you chose the Don't Fossil, you'll see the Omanyte there. And that's because the Rare Pokemon Collector donated to the... To the uh, zoo, which is actually kind of neat. He somehow brought the fossil back to life, though. I don't know how he did that, but okay. Uh, you can also head around the back here. I think it turns into a Kabutops later. I'm not too sure, actually. Uh, but anyway, with that, let's head into this building here. Oh, is it your first time here? Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. When you run out of time with Safari Balls, it's game over for you. Before you go, open an unused Pokemon box so there's room for new Pokemon. Yeah, he, he's just kind of warning you that you need to make sure that your Pokemon box is filled, because the thing is that you have to manually switch the box in order for new Pokemon to go in. In later games, it's just like automatically starts a new box. Uh, now, you do have to pay 500 Pokebucks, however, like, look how much money I've got. I can, I can do this, like, a thousand, six, oh, no, a thousand, 160 times. Uh, that being said, you don't want to waste your opportunity. Uh, you only get 500 steps. And the worst part, oh, they do give you 30 Safari Balls, which actually, technically, they are the cheapest balls in the game. Um, welcome to the Safari Zone. There's a lot of Pokemon in the Safari Zone. Uh, and the worst part is that I have no clue if I can do this. 
if I can get all the items. There is a rest house here, so you can heal yourself halfway. However, notice how when you stop, when you pause, you can see how many steps you've taken, or how many steps you've got left, and the number of, uh, balls you still have left. By the way, it doesn't- oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Now, it doesn't matter what Pokemon you bring into the Safari Zone, may I just add. Or, oh, I mean, TM-wise. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm battle-wise. You may need them for HMs. By the way, this is the Area 2. There is a certain path you can go through to get all this stuff, but... Uh, also, there's a bunch of items. One of them is hidden, I think. Only one. And it's in Area 3. Now, when you find a wild Pokemon, such as this Execute. Notice how it's different. I can throw a rock, or I can bait them. Now, if you bait them, they're more likely to stay around. However, they're also a bit more cautious of being a balls. So if you try and throw a Pokeball at them, they may be harder to catch. However, they will be less reluctant. They will be less likely to run away. The opposite is said about throwing rocks. If you throw a rock at them, they're more likely to run away. However, if you if they don't run away, a ball is more likely to catch them. It's a bit of a trade-off scenario, and, and I'm not too sure if different Pokemon uh, feel like getting caught, but I don't know. Uh, so anyway, there's a bunch of items. I actually don't know whether I need them all, because to be honest, you can only the only TMs that you can get are Egg Bomb, Skull Bash, and Double Team, and of course, the most important one, Surf. So yeah, so I think according to Bulbapedia, only one of these, one of these, um, one of these, uh, items is actually hidden. The rest of them are just kind of scattered around, and it gets a little bit annoying because trying to find every single item may take several goes. Paris, uh, we should talk about Pokemon that you can get. Uh, we haven't seen Chansey, actually, before, but, uh, we s it was there. Uh, so, yeah, so, um, so anyway, so you can catch, uh, th there's a lot of Pokemon to catch, so pretty much that list on the side is freaking out right now, but very rare. In Pokemon Red, you can catch a, um, a Scyther, and in Pokemon Blue, you can catch a Pinsir. Scyther has extremely high attack and speed stats. Um, it doesn't learn any, uh, any, um, same type attack moves. By the way, if you want to, if you want to get, um, good Pokemon, then yeah. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really learn any same type attack moves. However, it is a fan favorite, and likely so. It's actually a very strong Pokemon. I'm going to go get that Pokeball, which means I'm going to waste all my time. I know technically the aim is more so to finish it, then go for all the items, because Parasite. Uh, the other Pokemon that you can uh, get, you can also get Pinsir, but I'm pretty sure I talked about him already, so I don't know why I've written notes for him. Basically, Pinsir is really good. End of story. Um, the other Pokemon you can get uh, in the entrance area is a Chansey. A 1% chance to get a Chansey. Holy snap, they're rare. I, I'm perfectly fine that they actually show you a Chansey, because seriously, they're... They're very rare. Um, by the way, with the Pinsir and Scyther, you can't actually choose which one you get, because they're version exclusives anyway, so... Stuff that! Uh, Chansey has the highest HP of any Pokémon in the game, except for its evolution Blissey in the sequel, in the second generation. But, you know, one generation is pretty good, and it's extremely high. It's like 250, the base stat, so... Seriously, it's really good. Uh, it's special set is also pretty nice, and it learns quite a few, uh, good moves, uh, such as Egg Bomb. However, it also has the lowest attack and the lowest defense stats of any Pokemon, so... Trade-off. But, seriously, it's so good. Trainer Tips! The remaining time declines only while you walk. I think this is Area 3, but I'm not too sure. The sign may tell us. By the way, yeah, you want to find the secret house, because you can't actually progress through the game unless you find a secret house. Uh, I should also scroll down through my list to see, um, different, uh, things, but, yeah, you can catch Pokemon, and you don't even have to worry about your own Pokemon getting weakened. 
I think it's one of the uh, best ways to get Pokemon in the game. Uh, let's see, what else? What else can you catch? Uh, you can also catch Tauros in Area 2. Again, 1% chance, so pretty rare. Pokemon hide until- Wow. That's- that's some bad advice right there. Um... In Area 2, you can find a Tauros, there's a 1% chance of finding that. Um, then than that. <laughs> um, Tauros, very good attack, very good defense, very good speed. The special is a little bit low, but to be honest, it doesn't really learn a lot of special moves, so it's okay. Uh, it's ba- yeah, generally it's base stats are very good, and it learns a lot of good moves. The only problem is that this is the only place to get it. There's a 4% chance of getting it in, uh, Area 3, so don't worry about having a 1% chance. But still, it's the Safari Zone. You can't try forever. You're going to run into a lot of money issues. And, uh, the problem is, you know, you can't... Like, you can't dilly-dally. You have to kind of go ahead with it. Area 2? Why am I still in Area 2? I'm not going to make it out, am I? I know the path. I'm just kind of strolling around, because... Ah, uh, yeah. Rhyhorn. So, yeah. There's no trainers in the Safari Zone, so don't worry, really. Um... But to be honest, if you want to catch stuff, this is the best place, pretty much. Because there's a lot of good Pokemon. You can get, like, Execute. You can get, um, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn is one of the best ground-type Pokemon out there. Uh, you can get Chansey, you can get Tauros, you can get Scyther or Pinsa. TM40? Okay, so I found a bunch of stuff, but... I'm probably going to miss stuff, so I'm going to actually read off a list of things. You find Venomoth if you're into that? I'm not into Venomoth. I'm gonna run out of time in a bit. Protein! Uh, if you're wondering what that hidden item is, because I know people, like, scout out this area for a while, and to be honest, I don't want to waste a lot of time here. Paris! Uh, the hidden item is, I believe, it is, hold on, it is a revive in Area 3, apparently on the Southeast Statue near the Secret House. <laughs> if you're into that, um, to be honest, I'm not really, I don't really need to, to get a, ex not an execute, right. there's, there's a ding dong. By the way, there is a way to really glitch out the game through this. Like, a very bad way to glitch the game. Uh, you can always head back in and join the hunt. But remember, you do need the guy's uh, teeth. And you also need to get the special HM in order to beat the game. And that's basically code for saying they give you HMs. Anyway, I'm actually not going to stall. I'm going to try and... I'm not going to stall first bit of grass. I'm actually going to try and beat this. Because, spoilers, you get, at the end of this, a HM called Surf. And while you, you do need to beat the gym leader in order to use Surf, uh, Koga, you need to beat Koga, uh, you don't... Surf lets you go over any body of water in the game. I mean, they will always lane boundary you off, so don't worry about going too far. But... You, you need Surf in order to actually progress on from Fuchsia, because if you try going south, you'll just hit a body of water. Uh, and... Yeah. I think you can use Repels here, if you're into that. I don't have any Repels, but... Eh. Also, I, I... The other TM that I haven't gotten yet is Double Team. How much do you need Double Team? So yeah. So I like the idea of the Safari Zone. It's not in po in Gold and Silver though, which is strange because slight spoilers in Gold and Silver, you can actually head off to the Jodo uh, to the Kanto region at the end of the game. And if you come here, they say the the Safari Zone is closed and the zoo is shut and there's just kind of grass everywhere at the north of Fuchsia. 
and that's a bit sad. Uh, in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, though, the remake of Gold and Silver, uh, the Safari Zone is moved. It's in a different place, and I appreciate that. X and Y Safari Zone, I don't even know what's with it. To be honest, I have no clue about the Safari Zone. I have tried it, I'm just like, I don't understand what is going on. Where are all the Pokemon? There's like three. Depending on who I choose, I don't, I don't even know. Ah, uh, it's uh, up this way. The good news is that you will always be able to run away from battles. Which is strange. Didn't they say don't run into tall grass without, um, without Pokemon? Suddenly now we're just like, oh yeah, 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 I don't feel like it, I'm just running away. It's a very odd way of putting things, you know? Because suddenly the game's kind of gone into a different style. You just, you're catching things different, don't get, like, that's the only thing different, really. But, it's a little bit strange. How many steps do I have? 243, good. 243, isn't that a number? It's a multiple of nine. Paris. So yeah, so if you want a general rundown of every single Pokemon that you can find in the Safari Zone, here it goes. Uh, la, 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 la. So you can find Nidoran Male, Nidoran Female, Execute, Venonat, Rhyhorn, Nidorino, Nidorina, Parasect, Scyther, Pinsir, Chansey, now we got Doduo, uh, Kangaskhan, uh, Rhyhorn, no, I already said that. Uh, Venomoth. And that's about it. Oh. You need the gold teeth. Get the gold teeth. No matter what you do, get that gold teeth. So if you headed up the path I'm going through and... The revive is there if you're wondering. It's not pretty far off. Now, if you head inside this house, and you talk to this guy... Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house! I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize! Congratulations, here's HMO3! HMO3 is Surf! It is one of the best water-type moves in the game, just because it's got a lot of PP, it's very accurate, and it, um... It's powerful as well! So powerful that... I'm gonna teach it! Voice though, cause why not? Why would you... Oh, that's Moopy! No, don't leave me. Abandon learning it. Uh, clam clam. There you are. I don't know why I gave it to Moopy for a moment there. Now, what, the question is, what attack should I have? I think I will get rid of Tackle because, to be honest, although my physical is better than my special, all three of my attacks have a stab bonus, which means that they are stronger because they are the same type as my Pokemon. By the way, here's something that every other Pokemon game does that this one doesn't. Everyone after this game. Is that it gives you context sensitive places to actually use your Pokemon. So for example, in later Pokemon games, and you'll find this about cut trees as well as like strength rocks. If you go up to water in a later Pokemon game and you press A on it, it asks you, do you want to surf on it? Also, I don't have the badge, so <laughs> stop that. Um, that means I just need to wander around and pick up items. Um, but in this game, it doesn't. And after playing a lot of later Pokemon games, trust me, you get kind of used to the fact that it keeps asking you to use your HMs all the time. Because it doesn't get annoying. You're the one who actually tells it to ask you about that. Um, and it's the same with Strength Rocks and the same with Cut Trees. It asks you whether you want to use your item on it, or your HM. Which I think is a nice feature, because it saves a lot of time, and I actually like how in X and Y, you can actually use items from the Pokemon menu. You select the Pokemon, go to the deepest part of the Safari Zone, you will win a prize. My Eevee evolved into Flareon, but a friend's Eevee turned into a Vaporeon, I wonder why. None of them got the best one. You can keep any item you found in the ground here, but you'll run out of time if you try for all of them at once. Well, that is true. So anyway, I should be running out of time any second now. So yeah, so that's the Safari Zone. Ding dong, time's up, your survival game's over.
Now, to be honest, I didn't get every single item. There are a couple of items still left over. And I think I missed a couple of max potions. Uh, full restore. I think I got the max revive. And there may have been a nut. There's a nugget on an island. Like, there's actually some items that you need to surf in order to get. So... And I don't feel like going back in there, because I just got all three of the TMs that are available, and the HM, and the gold teeth, and to be honest, all the other items you can buy, so... I'm not gonna cover those. Which is a bit of a shame, because I've been actually getting every single item so far, so... I think it's just, it's a bit of a hassle for me, because I'm, I will run out of time. And stuff over, over and over again, so... Anyway, head inside. Here. Talk to this guy. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. And it gives you HMO4. HMO4 is strength. It's a decently good, um, normal type attack. It's got good accuracy. It... It, uh, deals quite a bit of power. It doesn't have any positive effects, though. You can... But it's a HM, so you can push boulders on the field. I shall teach it to... Snoozu. You may be wondering... Ooh, I, I don't know if I should have told it to Snoozu. Well, Snoozu has it, so pretty much, yeah. I was, I was thinking of teaching it to, um, Grabo, because to be honest, Grabo doesn't actually know any moves. Snoozu might learn another move, like Body Slam. No, I prefer that. You know, I'll teach it to Grabo. As well. Because I think there is a move, there is the move to lead us, so I'll just go up to him. And you know what's really weird about this? It even tells you this requires strength to move. When you press on something. And that's a perfect opportunity to do that. So anyway, if you push this boulder, that... Uh, brilliant. What am I not going to need? Brick Andy! Yay! We're gonna use it. And I'm gonna use that on Moopy, because Moopy still needs it. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm gonna end the part off here. I know we didn't really do a lot of stuff, but we kinda did. Oh, I may as well check out those buildings there next to the Pokemon Center. Do 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 takes forever to walk around, takes forever to walk around, takes forever to walk around. And here we are, inside, and there's just a bunch of people talking. He is old. All the season falls. I know. He uses a PC in 1996. I have met him. He's a grandson. Whoa. Snap. This guy gets no praise. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then. Do 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 do